Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to run a JavaScript in your load on scripts. So, uh, for this example, I am creating a simple HTML script, uh, simple web or HTML protocol script. Uh, and uh, yeah, so in this script, uh, so just before starting the, just before starting the example, just I want to give a few points to be dotted. Uh, like the JavaScript can be executed only in uh, web HTTP uh, or HTML protocol or Ajax True Plan protocol. So Ajax True Plan protocol will give you just uh, getting an element and uh, just getting a hidden values of this kind of information. But uh, in HTML script, web, web protocol script, basically it's web protocol script. And you can execute a JavaScript which are not relevant to document and window. Okay, so yeah, now, now, now let's get into the uh, scripting part. So, uh, first, uh, first, let me uh, I have wrote, I have added some examples here. So, now, yeah, if you come to this, uh, this script running in large.js and say, so this is a function actually which we use. Uh, to run your JavaScript in uh, in load runner in load runner. So why the question comes? Why you need to run a uh, JavaScript in load runner? Let's take an example like uh, uh, you have a scenario like encoding your password and logging or uh, sending a encoded card number in your payment gateway or uh, so when when you have something that you need to be done from the front end and something in your report body or in your request or request headers so this will help uh, so now if you see this so now we have web underscore j uh, this is a function which helps which will help us to run your javascript so this is the code uh, what you want to run it so we have multiple multiple arguments in this uh, web underscore js and web js underscore run so the first argument is a code which you want to run Okay, uh, we can, you can add file here and you can add the code here. So from the file, you will have the code from, I mean, uh, you will have the, uh, I mean, like if you have a code in your file, you can pass that file here directly to execute or, uh, or you can give the lines of code which to be triggered, uh, uh, triggered or executed. And this is source file from where I want to run it. Okay, uh, so you are running some uh, some addition function in your code. So if you if you want to, uh, uh, you can directly add C equal to APB in this function. Or if you want to call already predefined function which you have in already library, then you need to call that function here and add the library file here. And uh, so this way, uh, one more point to highlight here is load runner will not download the js if you give it directly the web url like http slash uh, domain name slash the file name so that will not uh, download will be downloaded by load runner uh, dynamically and it won't execute so for that what you, know, what you need to do is like you need to download the js file into your local and uh, by right clicking on extra file create a new file add your js the complete extension and uh, uh, so then after adding that you can see the files here so this was a crypto js is a uh, source library file which i'm using uh, to encode uh, crypto j uh, encode and this is the encode dot password is a my method which my function sorry my function which i have given here to encrypt that value okay so now this is the uh, text that i want to encode and this is my uh, sorry, this is my string that I'm using to encode my value that is password. Okay, so you can pass this value dynamically. Uh, we can pass this value dynamically by using lr eval string, so that you can the, the functions we can use and we can pass it from the parameter. We can pull the values from the parameter, and we can make it dynamic, more even dynamic to send your passwords dynamically. Okay. That is not a that's not any concern. So for timing, I have hard coded this. 
and this is a crypto.js file which I am uh, using to encrypt my uh, password. Okay, and I'm returning the encrypted password. So now, if you go to the action, so here the first in first web underscore run, I have imported the library. Okay, just I have imported the library into my LR script. Vgen script. So now the Vgen will have my crypto JS source into Vgen while runtime. And the second web underscore JS, what we are using here now is I am using the encode JS as a source file, encode JS as a source file, and encode as a function which is declared, which is declared here. Okay, this encode function. And when I'm running this, when I'm running this, so uh, what LR will do is this will take it from this this JS file and it will execute. So this is a JS file and it will look for the function encode password. And when it comes to the crypto JS, so we already we already imported the library into your VHM memory. So that will look for the JS already you imported and it will execute the query required query uh, required the JS and it will Return the value. So here you are, you are returning the value, and uh, in the LR you are uh, you you are saying that you are saying that param result param. So now if you see that difference, the first function, first web underscore JS run and second web JS underscore run. So the second outcome, second function have one more parameter extra, which is result param. So the output of this function is same in this result. RES variable. So let's run it once. I'm running it. Yeah, it's, it executed. Let's open the so this is the encoded value. This is the encoded value. So I'm making a note again. Uh, so JS uh, and load runner will not execute the in memory functions. And the second point is uh, you need to, uh, I mean, modify the JS files if there is any code related document dot or window dot code. So because the load runner will don't understand the document and window window objects, so uh, you need to replace that uh, uh, that uh, lines with your respective respective uh, respective statements, and you need to run it. So and the third point, what I want to confirm is that unless uh, you won't do web underscore reset, we have another function which is called web uh, js underscore reset. So if you don't use web underscore reset, uh, it will not uh, it will not uh, clear the uh, it will not clear the uh, already imported js. So if you use this line in between the two functions, then you will see the exception and you will see the failure because uh, this encode JS is using crypto JS file and which is don't know where it is. So if you, it is important initially and I'm resetting it. So when you reset it, uh, load and will clear the JS memory and uh, again it will run. So when it's running, it will not find crypto JS which you already imported before. So make sure you are using a web underscore js reset at uh, right place. So yeah, so these are the uh, this is how we need to uh, execute our uh, JavaScript and load runner. Thanks for listening, this.